yes. In this video, what we're doing is that we're doing a project with foam board where I'm, I'm making a replica of one of our school buildings, um, specifically our computer lab area and our library area. Um, some of the materials needed for this project includes a ruler, a blade from a box cutter because you want something with a really sharp edge to cut through the foam board. Your foam board, of course, a pencil or a marker, and some measurements from the building that you are um, replicating. So one of the first things I did was that I went out and took some measurements from the building. Uh, most of the rooms or classrooms for the building is about 20 feet apart in terms of width and 30 feet in length. Um, there are some doors and windows which are pretty standard, right? So you have a standard size door of 36 inches and your windows, they are about 4 to 5 feet um, in terms of length and width. And so I, I just had to do an estimate of what spacing would be needed and then I'm drying that up on the foam board. You'll also notice I already got the foam board in the color that I wanted, which is the color of the building, green. And so that should make it easier in terms of getting the color needed for that particular building. So I'm just focused on getting this all drawn up right now on the board. I'm doing the top part, the bottom part, um, the roofing, um, and, and the separation um, for the rooms. So I'll just go ahead and get that all drawn up and I'll start and show you the cutting process um, and then how we will piece that together. The next step then is to start the cutting process and so I'll use the ruler as my guide. Um, I have a blade from a box cutter that I'll be using and I'm using these because these are very sharp and, and it won't damage the edge of the foam board. Also behind the foam board I've placed a old piece of sheetrock I had uh, so that I don't, I don't damage the table because remember that you're cutting through the foam board so you don't want to damage your furniture or table that you're using. So I just play something in the background. Maybe you can use a piece of old board or something that won't uh, that you don't mind damaging, right? Because the blade will go through. And you want to ensure that blade is nice and sharp. So I'm cutting out the both sides of the building um, for the bottom and for the top. And then I'll go ahead and just cut out the window and door portion after I have I have marked those. So here what I'm doing is that I'm marking out the windows and the doors um, where they belong on the side of the building. You want to ensure that you take your time and get this done right because your image that you're making or the structure that you're making, you want it to be a true reflection of the actual building that exists. So take your time, get the windows and door marked in and then we'll cut them out after this again using the same um, box cutter blade.
All right, and our final step in this process is to just kind of get everything glued together. So I have all the pieces I needed. I started gluing earlier. Uh, I'm just showing you the last part. Eh? Um, so I'm getting the walls um, glued up using the glue gun. I'm using one of the smaller glue guns. I don't want. I didn't want to use the larger glue gun because it might get too hot. And the glue sometimes uh, melts the edge of the foam board um, if the tip of the glue gun is too hot. So notice me pacing on the glue here on the edge of the walls and I'm sticking the back wall and the side wall together and I'll do the same process for the remainder of the walls and the inner portion. Um, try to keep it as clear as possible and for the first part what I did was have a piece of board just to maintain the square of the building. And of course be careful when you're working with the glue gun because it gets very hot, right? All right, so we have it. Um, here's our finished project. Took me a little bit over three hours um, to get everything cut out and glued up together. Um, I have it so that you can remove the top portion. Uh, you can see inside because if time permits, uh, what I want to do is to place in all the furnitures. So I'm going to build all of those. Yeah, it will take a little bit of patience, a little bit of time, but I'll see if I can fine tune this afterwards again thanks for watching the video i hope you go out and build something from foam boards now um probably do a little structure or a little replica of your house right and see how that turns out thanks for watching